Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Fold. Guys, in this video, we'll be playing around LWC and we'll be doing some customizations using a Lightning Web component. As part of this video, guys, I'll be creating a generic Lightning Web component, which is going to be a headerless quick action. And you will be able to use this headerless quick action on any object like account, contact, and any custom object as well, as it is going to be a generic component. And on this component, guys, we'll be having functionality to download all the files as a zip file from a specific record. So on that Lightning Web component, we'll be first building up the functionality to get all the content versions and all the files. Then we'll be getting all the files IDs and then we will be downloading it as a zip file. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys, uh, let's start today's video. So first, let me show you like uh, what is going to be the output of this functionality. So for example, I have created a headless quick action here, which is download files. And on the click of this download files, I'll be downloading all the files available on this specific uh, account record. So for example, in this account record and notes and attachment, I'm having five files here, right? You can see here, like there are five images. And uh, this is a headless quick action. So I have added it here in page layout and in button links and action as well as a lightning web component. Uh, where it is download files, lightning web component. Okay. So whenever you will click on this download file, it will be downloading all the files available in the notes and attachment and it will be downloading it as a zip file here because uh, here we are requesting a collection of files, right? So now if I will open it here and uh, let me open it. So here are my five files from that specific account record. And as this is going to be a generic component, you can have this quick action button on any objects record to download uh, its respective files, okay? Now let me show you the functionality behind this. First, let me close this one okay now i will open my vs code so guys as it is a headerless quick action so in html we won't be having anything because in headerless quick action we don't need any html basically in javascript i'm just having this api invoke function which is needed as part of headerless quick action functionality and i'll be uh, building up the javascript here and uh, here Uh, as part of meta, I'm having my target as lightning record action and uh, the configuration is normal action, like it is just headless action, right? Okay, now let me show you my Apex. So for that, I have created one Apex, which is download zip, which is empty right now as I'll be writing a code here. Okay, so let's start with Apex first, okay, because that is going to be the easiest part here, trust me. So as it is going to be a method for lightning web component, the first we'll make it aura enabled. Okay, now I will create a function here, public static, which will be returning list of ID. And let's name it get files. And I'll pass record ID. Okay. So this is the empty structure. Now here guys, we need content document ID and content version ID as well based on this record ID. So for that, I will be creating two sets here. So I'll create set of ID, which is going to be content document IDs. New set of ID here. And I will be creating another list of IDs. Content version IDs. Okay. Now first we will be getting the content document uh, IDs from the 
content document link based on the record id linked entity id okay so for that i will just write a basic loop here so i'll do for content document link cdl and i will have my query here so we need content document id from content document link where linked entity id is my record id okay this is going to be my loop and here in this loop what i'll do i will just simply add content doc ids dot add and i'll be having cdl cdl content document id okay so that is going to be my first loop uh, using which i'll be getting all the content document ids in this content doc ids list okay now let me <coughs> excuse me let me create another loop here Okay, now let me create another loop here. So here first I will check if this content doc IDs is having value. So I will simply do a if content doc IDs dot size is greater than zero. If yes, then create another loop on content version. Content version CV. And here we will do select id from content version where content document id in content doc ids okay and here we need to check one more thing if it is the latest uh, content version of that file so for that we can add and is latest equals to true okay so this is going to be my second loop here and here i will be adding content version ids dot add content version id okay so i'm having content version ids here now i will just return this content version id here return content version ids so this is going to be apex for this code guys so in this apex we have just retrieved the content document and content version because content versions will be containing the files and we are retrieving the latest version of that content version file okay now let's move to javascript quickly mm, where it is okay so guys here first we will uh, import that function from apex so for that i will use import function name get files from salesforce downloads zip okay yeah this is the correct name and also to download this we need to redirect it to a different url so that uh, it can you know execute that url in a browser and download the zip so for that as it is going to be a quick action so we'll be using navigate mixin for that so here we'll do uh, navigation mixin lightning navigation okay and whenever you are using navigation mixin so here you have to extend the navigation mixin so by default you will be having lightning element here so you need to add it in this uh, brackets and you have to extend navigate mixin here okay now first we will get the record id of the page 
so we will do api record id okay and also we need to save file ids that will be passing in that uh, url with navigate mixin so i will be creating a trackable variable of file ids which will be blank okay now guys uh, to execute something on a hydrolyzed quick action you need to do functionality in this api invoke so to, to test the functionality i'm just adding a console here and i am here okay now i will add my functionality so first i will call my function which is get files and here as part of this get files i need to pass the record id okay so i will just simply do record id and this dot record id okay now here i will use then to execute that function and i will capture result here okay and as we have added then let's add catch as well to catch errors Mm -hmm. Error. Okay, we can simply have it like console dot log, and let's just print it in a log. Okay, as this is just for the demo purpose. I'm assuming whenever you will be using this functionality in an actual scenario, you might be having some kind of error framework and uh, you will be just having this error in that error framework, okay? But for the sake of this demo, we'll be just using this and uh, let me make it here. Okay, now the indexing also looks good. Okay, so here, let me first create a list to have the result, okay? So we'll be getting the result in JSON format and we'll parse it. So I'll do json.parse json.stringify and I'll have my result here. Okay. Now if this file list exists, so I'll do file list. Okay, let's not do length. Let's just simply check if we are having value in it. Okay, if this file is not equals to none. So here, uh, I'll just create a loop over that file list. this dot file ids plus equals file list value and as we'll be having multiple values so let's add one slash here okay okay now here we'll check if this dot file ids dot length is greater than zero okay that means this file id is having its value okay so guys uh, here we need to replace the last character of the query string so here uh, right now whenever it will be generating the url so it is going to be file one id then file two then file three okay so if you will keep this url then it is going to throw an error okay so to avoid it we need to replace this last uh, character of this url with a question mark there okay just to complete the query string there Okay, so here we'll do if it is having value, then we'll do this dot file IDs 
equals to this dot file ids dot replace okay and we'll be replacing the last string so i'll do slash so this is a, a simple one line code you can simply get it over google while searching for it okay so this will be replacing the last character of the file of the url with the question mark symbol instead of the slash okay now as the query string is ready as the uh, url string is ready so we will have we will just redirect it to a empty page okay so for that we'll be using navigate mixin so i'll just create a constant here configuration and as a type i will just add a standard web page attributes and attribute i will be passing my url so guys pa to pass the url uh, you just need to have the basic download url of salesforce which is in most uh, orgs it is going to be your root url then slash sfc slash servlet you must be noticing this url in few of other examples as well i remember one example where i created a file thumbnail there also i have used the same example shepherd version and download slash then we'll be passing our file ids here okay so i'll do this dot file ids here okay this looks good now this navigate mixin is also good then i'll do navigate mixin dot navigate okay and i will pass config here okay this seems fine to me now let me quickly save it and uh, try to deploy it okay guys the code has been deployed successfully now let me show you the output one second so i'll refresh it and i will open my inspect element also to show you that uh, first log what we have added as part of the quick action so now if i will click on this download files you can see this i am here and uh, it has uh, redirected it to a separate page and now you can see the zip file which is getting downloaded here and it's done so the same way guys you will be able to use this common quick action button anywhere on any record it will be just downloading all the files on a single click as a zip container okay so guys uh, if you need the complete code whatever i'm having here on my vs code uh, so you can simply go to my blog which is salesforcebold.com and get it from there and uh, yep that's it for today guys so if you like today's video a uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome guys i'll see you in the next one Thanks for watching.